Hello everyone, uh, my name is Veer and today we are going to see how you can use cy.session you know in order to perform certain activities that are repetitive and you know how you can uh, utilize or add Allure report integration with the Cypress. So these are the two things that we will see in, in this uh, today's video. Okay, so uh, let's say in use case. Okay, um, I'll just quickly open a browser. So let's say I'm using this portal, this Snoop Commerce website. Okay and uh, currently what we are doing is uh, whenever we are performing or opening any page uh, what we are doing we are performing a login for each and every stage okay uh, so that that is you you can say it's a kind of repetitive activity that we are doing like for each and every test we are performing the login before uh, going to uh, start executing the actual test okay uh, just to you know, let's say i wanted to uh, go to the categories and uh, let's say I wanted to search for a category or I wanted to create a category so in that case what we are what uh, the common actions that I'm performing I'm just you know first of all I'm opening this login pay URL then entering the username password and clicking on the login bit and this is you know again a repetitive steps okay so let's say you wanted to you know do the login once and using the rest uh, stored session you know we can use that particular session to perform the other tests okay so what we will do we'll just log in once and uh, the session stored will be used uh, across multiple tests okay so for that what you have to do is uh, the first and foremost thing is in cypress.config.json you have to add one uh, you know key called as experimental session and origin and set its value to true so this is your first step okay then uh, uh, in previous videos we had created a custom command for login right so in that custom command what you have to do you have to just modify a custom command a little bit uh, like you know so here what we are doing we are using the cy.session uh, as one of the method and here what you have to do is you have to pass uh, you know any parameter like uh, uh, just to you know uniquely identify that particular session okay so here how we are identifying this is a unique session by passing the email as you know um, uh, parameter to the cy dot session and uh, it will accept the whatever the uh, that is part of earlier you know login function you can just put inside this particular cy dot session function okay so that's the only change that you have to do uh, on the custom command front and uh, whenever wherever you are using this particular you know uh, custom command right uh, let's say i am using over here okay so the the thing that you have to only do is you have to perform the cy dot you know uh, login the the uh, same steps will remain as it's but only thing is before you know any test what you have to do is you have to just perform the cy dot visit okay before performing uh, any test okay you can just use cy dot visit okay uh, whichever page you wanted to visit or okay so that you can do so that's the only change that you have to do uh, in order to use the uh, cy dot session in your test okay so let's see this quickly in action okay so f f let me just quickly open the uh, cypress and then then we'll see you know how we can actually test this particular thing and let's see whether that is working uh, perfectly fine or not so let me just maximize this window i'll just uh, open the cypress on chrome and let's uh, which file we had done uh, i think we had changed on the assertions file okay so let me just uh, let me just see whether i had saved the changes yes i had saved uh, let me just open the assertions.cy.js run all the specs in this particular file Uh, 
it is not clicking up uh, let me just stop this and rerun it, it got stuck in between I'll, I'll just you know rerun now it is opening perfectly fine so let's see uh, the execution over here okay so first you can see if it is logging in okay so if you can see it is creating the session okay now it has opened the admin page and it is verifying the execution for that particular test okay now let's see it for the second test it, it doesn't log it in it just directly open the admin page okay then for the next test also you know it will do the same okay so if you can see it has you know didn't perform the any of the lo login actions or login steps it just you know using the restored it is just creating a session and it, it will restore that particular session okay instead of performing the login actions okay so this way you know you can keep your sessions uh, you know intact with the uh, users or you know this will speed up your test execution as well you know because for each and every test you are not performing the login action you know you you're just restoring the existing session and once the session is restored it will start executing the test okay so this is the first part of our video now in the second part as i mentioned earlier uh, we'll see how you can integrate the earlier report uh, into your uh, for your cypress test basically okay so for that basically what you have to do is uh, I'll, for ready reference what i have done uh, i'll just show you few of the commands that are you know necessary for you okay so first thing is uh, if you can see this command right let me just copy this particular command and uh, maybe any notepad or you no know, text editor i'll just try to open So first and foremost thing is you have to install the uh, and dependency required for Cypress Allure plugin. Okay, this is your first step. Okay. Second thing is you know Allure requires uh, one more you know uh, dependency. Uh, let me just quickly show you that as well. Uh, let me just show you that. So this this one dependency is required and apart from that uh, we need one more dependency okay let me just find it so let me just go to the website okay So in order to generate the earlier report after the execution, uh, you need this earlier command line uh, dependency. Okay, so you can you know uh, install this using this npm install command. Okay, so this is you know the second dependency that is required in order to you know uh, generate the report. So this is for you know uh, first step where you wanted to in install the Cypress earlier plugin, 
and the second dependency is to generate the earlier commands or you know to generate the actual earlier report based on the test result okay uh, another requirement is you know earlier require java 8 or higher so make sure you have java 8 or higher version of java has been installed in order to you know execute uh, our uh, earlier report basically to generate basically the earlier report okay now uh, once this is done what you have to do is you have to add uh, import statement into your e2e.js support e2e.js you have to add an import statement okay this is the, uh, the, uh, the another thing that you have to do once that is done uh, in cypress.config.js okay you have to define one constant allure writer and you know you have to specify the path of allure like uh, allure writer okay from the shell x cypress allure plugin okay and you can use this allure writer and you can just you know uh, add on config return config so that's that's the only thing that you have to add in your uh, cypress config.js or if you are using typescript you can use the same thing in your uh, typescript file cypress config.ts file okay so this is the only thing that you have to do and whenever you are running your cypress test okay so so this is you know the configuration part that you have to do and once you are running your test what you have to do is uh, let, let me just quickly show you that particular command as well so the command is npx cypress run dash dash env allure equal to true so that this is the only command uh, that you wanted to you know execute and uh, let's you know try to run only single spec file uh, so that you know we will see the execution quite fast okay spec dash dash spec and then you have to give the path of the spec let me just run only single spec file you know so that we'll see the earlier report uh, earlier results folder gets generated or not and then we'll see how we can generate the earlier uh, reports okay so let me just uh, run the navigation spec okay and maybe what i'll do i'll run it as headed as well let me just first dash dash browser chrome dash dash headed so it will run in head headed mode okay so what has missed over here let me just check what has happened oh so i made the spelling mistake while you know I'm typing the command uh, it should be spec not sep it should be spec So here what we are doing, we are just running a single spec file okay, on the browser Chrome. So if you can see it has started, the browser uh, or the Cypress window has been opened. Okay, you can see the navigation, it, it has just picked up the navigation spec, okay. So if you can see it has, that particular test has failed or say passed. You know because we are just you know add it uh, invalid url and we are just checking that okay So let's observe the once the execution is complete. Let's observe the you know 
the behavior whether uh, we get a report folder or results folder get created or not So the now execution is completed, right? And if you can see on the path over here, earlier results folder is got created. Okay. So this way, what it will do, it will first it will generate a folder with you know JSON. Okay. And once the execution is completed, let's see, you know, uh, it, it, it is still, you know, creating a compressed, uh, compressing of the video. Okay. So when you run your test uh, from, from command line, by default, it creates a video recording for your execution. You can turn off that configuration uh, using this this particular file okay so here you can add uh, video is equal to false then you know it will turn off your video recording as well whenever you are running it from the command line as well okay so let's wait for a couple of minutes more to you know to complete this execution So uh, entire execution is completed. Now let's, you know, so in order to generate the report, okay. So there is one command called as npx allure generate. So that command you have to enter. So what it will do based on this particular allure results folder, it will generate a report. Okay, so if you can see report successfully generated to allure report. So if you can see now here allure report folder is created and here all the uh, related information for that report is present. So in order to view this report, what you can do is you can just open this index.html. So I had installed one plugin uh, or an extension in Visual Studio Code uh, called as live server. So you can just open this on any browser, this particular file and you will see how the report will look okay so whatever the test that got executed you can see over here okay so based on the categories graphs you know different graphs based on the behavior if you know if you have a packages if you have any timeline okay so that's you know how you can generate the report so that's it for this video guys thank you thanks for watching i'll i'll push this code on uh, uh, github and maybe i'll share the link in one of the video or you know uh, while you know adding it on youtube i'll share the repository link as well thank you thanks for watching this video